So am I disqualified talking about sin because I haven't actually been involved in a particular sin? And what about sin superstars? You know, the people that have been in horrendous sin, they become Christians, and then they go from church to church and talk about it. Is that really what it takes? Are those really the people that are most knowledgeable? Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daly. And here's the question. Dear Pastor Bob, I don't understand how you can talk about things that you've never experienced firsthand. Don't get me wrong, I think you're doing a fantastic job, but shouldn't you be talking about things that you've personally experienced? You see, that's the place we get to. And honestly, I get this question a lot. How can you talk about things that you have no experience in? I I find this interesting because it really is where a lot of people are at today and where a lot of churches are at today. If you want to talk to your kids about drugs, you get somebody that was a horrible drug addict. If you want to talk to your kids about sex, you, you find somebody that was a sex addict. If you want to talk about, you know, name the, the sin, you invite those people that make their living talking about who they used to be. Is that wrong? Well, not necessarily as long as it's balanced. You know, we make some of these people superstars. You used to do this, you used to do this, and then Christ saved you. And it makes the people who have, well, a lesser testimony, it makes them irrelevant, like me. Yeah, I've never done drugs. I've never really, I've never done alcohol. I'm not a drinker. Only a few times in communion. Um, I'm still a virgin. I'm, you know, I've lived a pretty clean life, which, in some people's mind, disqualifies me. And honestly, it qualifies me more than most. You know, it isn't hard to, you know, to just fall into sin. That's the easy part. The hard part is to stay out of it. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I deal with my own things, but I, I'm, I'm not one of those superstars that can go from church to church and talk about how bad I was. Because from the age of five years old, when I became a Christian, 61 years ago, uh, Christ has been working in my life. And he is the reason that I'm still here. And it isn't because I have a horrendous sin background that I have the contrast, and so that's why I'm a Christian. It's because of who he is in my life, and it's because he sustains me. Now, does that keep me from understanding what all of that's about? Not at all. And this whole idea that we have to experience things to know something about it, isn't true. I think I'm a pretty good marriage counselor. I think I'm a pretty good drug counselor. I think I'm a pretty good counselor when it comes to addictions. Why? Because I understand the nature of them. I'm educated. I love people. Um, I've been in ministry for 40 some years and I understand does it disqualify me because I've never been part of it? Not at all. Because I understand Christ. I understand his redeeming, you know, qualities. And I understand what it takes to wallow in sin. I'm not perfect. I've been involved with sin too in the past and probably a little too much in the present. I understand what it's like. I don't have to experience every sin to know what sin is. I don't have to experience every kind of temptation to understand what general temptation is. And folks, let's get over this idea that we have to experience it to be able to talk about it, because that simply isn't true. In fact, you will probably find that the best people 
that will help you the most are people like me who have never had the problems, honestly. Well, that's my two cents worth. You may or may not agree, but I'm sticking to it. <laughs> God bless you. Have a great day.